So, a lot of crazy things happened in the year of 1982. In my opinion, one of the greatest 80s films ever made came out. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Hey bud, let's party. I will watch this endlessly. Endlessly. I think this movie portrays true high school life. However, we're not here to talk about 80s movies. We're here to talk about 80s horror. Movies that came out in 1982. Why? Well, because guess what? That's the year that Hobbs was born, and we're talking about for Mr. Wicker's tag. Five movies that were made during your birth year. So let's get right into it. Starting off at number one, the original Poltergeist came out in 1982. And with the original Poltergeist, I remember this movie being played in my living room with my parents and it scaring the living shit out of me. Even though I was born in 82, somehow this was still being played several years after when I was a kid in my living room. So yes, that is Poltergeist, the original movie, 1982. And no, this is not the original Poltergeist film. This is two and three. I'm just using it for an example as I'm trying to upgrade my Poltergeist collection. Death Valley, in my opinion, an underrated film that I really enjoy. In fact, I just had it on my top 20 for 2020 80s slashers. Death Valley. Friday the 13th, part three. Also, 3D. Friday the 13th Part 3. It's not my favorite in the series, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I know some people give it a lot of hate, but I did enjoy it. But it's not my favorite in the series. And Amityville The Possession. Yes, this is not the original title. Again, using it for an example. Amityville The Possession came out in 1982 as well. I don't own that one. Reason being, I'm holding out because I want to get that box set. In fact, I'll probably be getting that in the next month or two. So, 1982, Amityville of the Possession also came out. And finally, it must have been a bad year for some people because, do you know what else came out in 1982? Bronco Juggalo's favorite film. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Season of the Witch, Halloween 3 came out. I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't hate that movie. I think it's a good movie. I know people shit on it. I understand. I understand people's views on it. I know why some people like it and why some people don't. In my opinion, it was just fun. I'm just gonna leave it at that and just say it was a fun film. So, go check out Mr. Wicker, enter his challenge, his tag, put your five films that were for your year of your birth. Like I said, mine was the good old 1982. That's when the good Lord decided that uh, it's time for me to stop swimming. <laughs> All right, guys, it's about time to watch the Super Bowl. Hope y'all are having a good day. Catch up with you later. This is Hobbs. Mr. Wicker, thanks for the tag. I tag everybody on my subscriber list and anybody that sees this video. Go take the challenge from Mr. Wicker. Top five films or just five films from your birth year. Uh, uh, please do that and I will catch up with you guys later. Again, I tag everybody on my list. More specifically, Sean Blue Digital. I want to see what you got, buddy. Peace. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. 
It was a graveyard smash. They did the mash. It caught on in a flash. They did the mash. It did the monster mash.